Hey there, beautiful souls. Welcome back to HSP TV channel, your space for growth and inspiration. Today we're diving into the transformative world of a book that has truly touched my heart. Have you ever wondered about the incredible power of asking? Probably not, but today's book is all about that. But before we get into it, I am your host, Barbara, and today we're exploring Ask and It Is Given by Esther Hicks. This book really is a gem, exploring the art of manifestation and the power of the law of attraction. It's not just about asking, it's about aligning your energy to receive. So why did I pick it up? Let's find out. Diving into the core concepts of this book, Esther Hicks beautifully unfolds the idea that our thoughts shape our reality. It's not just positive thinking. It's about the vibrational frequency that we emit into the universe. And this really resonated with me on a deep level because I've experienced the transformative impact of shifting my own mindset. And this book emphasizes the power that we have to create our reality through deliberate thought and emotion. It's incredible how aligning your energy with what you desire can bring about profound shifts. So I want to be sharing some key takeaways with you. And the first key takeaway is understanding your emotional guidance system. And this means that you need to learn to navigate and trust in your emotions as a compass. When you're feeling happy and joyful and optimistic and positive, you are going the right way. But if you are feeling down and listless and sad or angry or frustrated, then you need to take special care, special attention to your thoughts because you are pedaling upstream, my dear empath. The second one is practicing gratitude. This means that you have to cultivate a mindset of appreciation for what you have. And by standing still and looking at the things that you're grateful for in your life, even if that's just I'm grateful I woke up this morning, or I'm grateful that my bed is warm and cozy. I'm grateful I have a roof over my head. I'm grateful for that one and only friend I have, but that's always there. You know, there's always something to be grateful for. So start practicing that gratitude every day and write down at least one thing every day that you're grateful for. The third is trusting the process. And this means that you have to embrace the journey and trust that the universe has a plan. Even when it doesn't feel like it, even when you cannot see the plan, trust that there is a plan. I know it's difficult. It's one of the most difficult things I had to learn, but it's so worth it. The fourth is alignment of energy. And that means that you need to align your thoughts and your emotions with what you want to attract. Uh, Energy flows where attention goes. So if you are focused on everything that's wrong with your life, everything you don't want, the shitty things, the things that are missing, all of those things, you're basically saying, give me more of those things in my life. And if you're like me, then that's not what you want. So you need to start thinking about all of the things that you do want in your life. All of the things that would make life beautiful for you. And the last one is deliberate creation. And that means that you need to be intentional in creating your reality through your thoughts and your feelings. And that aligns with the fourth one. You need to be deliberate in thinking about Ooh, I love waking up in the morning because I love starting my day and I love working with clients who are motivated and who love working with me and who get so much beautiful results, so much joy out of working with me. And then at the end of the day, I love feeling fulfilled and I love taking really good care of myself, providing myself with good, healthy meals, and then sleeping in my wonderful bed that keeps me warm all night. Something along those lines, but then your words and the things that you want, of course. 
And these takeaways aren't just for the spiritually inclined. They're practical tools. And applying them in real life can transform your relationships, your career, but also your overall well-being. Esther Hicks and the way she writes, it's like a warm embrace. It's clear, it's engaging, and it's thought-provoking without diving into complex jargon. One of the standout quotes of this book that I really love is the following. Ask, and it is given. <laughs> I know it's the title of the book, but that's what it's about, right? If you do not ask for what you want, then you will not get what you want. It really is as simple as that. Powerful, right? So this book resonated with me personally because I needed to realize that I was mostly focusing on everything that was wrong with my life and everything I didn't want in my life and everything that was missing from my life. And that resulted in negative emotions and the negative emotions resulted in certain actions. And those actions were responsible for the results that I was getting in my life that I wasn't liking. So by shifting my thoughts into gratitude and deliberate intent and focusing on everything I do want in my life, that really brought clarity to certain aspects of my life. And it helped me to amplify the positive energy around me. Now, it's important to note that not everyone may resonate with every perspective. There might be areas where one disagrees, and that's perfectly okay. We're all on unique journeys. So would I recommend Ask and It Is Given? Absolutely. It's a roadmap to a more intentional and fulfilling life. But don't just take my word for it. Dive into the pages yourself. Below this video will be a link where you can purchase the book for yourself. And if you're watching this, I would seriously want you to consider grabbing a copy. Let the wisdom within these pages inspire and guide you. And if you already have it or if you've already read it, then share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences. So as we wrap up, remember beautiful souls, you have the power to shape your reality. And if you're hungry for more discussions or want to explore these concepts further, then you can always book a free virtual coffee with me, or you might want to consider joining the Solutions community, where you will be exposed to a lot more books like this and a lot more valuable content than just books. For right now, I bid you a really great rest of your day. Until next time, Keep asking, keep aligning, and keep shining.